pandas group by. So group buys are absolutely fundamental to do to doing analytics. And you may be familiar with group buys from your SQL work or from your pandas pivot tables. Those are group buys too, you know. So in this post, we're going to see how to do group buys in pandas. Now, if you want to see what group buys are in general, go check out dataindependent.com and see our post on what group buys there are in the first place. Okay. So first thing we are going to do is import pandas as PD. And then I'm going to create a data frame that we're then going to group by on. And so this data frame is going to be a list of bars and restaurants in San Francisco with the number of customers that they had on a certain night and their average bill for a specific night. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is demonstrate just vanilla group by the easiest one that we can do. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to call uh, DF. So on your data frame dot group by, and then you're going to specify the column that you want to group by on. So in this case, I want to group by this name column. Then the column that I want to do an aggregate on is going to be average bill. And the aggregate function or the mapper that I want to do is going to be sum. So I want to sum average bill, but split by the name column. Go ahead and run this. And as you can see, I get a series returned to me with the sum of average bill per distinct value within the name. Okay. Now, what if you want to do multiple columns? Because it's pretty uh, common that you'd want to apply a group by function to multiple columns. Well, in that case, the simple version is you just pass a list of columns in your data frame to your group by function. So in this case, I'm still grouping by name and I want to take customers and average bill and I'm going to sum both of those. Go ahead and sum that. And now you can see I get a data frame returned to me. And one of the columns is the sum of customers per restaurant. And it is going to be the sum of average bill per restaurant. Okay. But actually, I don't want to take the sum of average bill because that doesn't make a ton of sense to me. I, I want to take the average of the average bill, but I still want the sum of customers. So in that case, you need to apply different aggregate functions to different columns. Well, in order to specify that, you're going to uh, alter your group by function just a little bit, and you're going to bring in a helper function. And this helper function is going to be the dot ag, which stands for aggregate function. So again, we're going to do group by and we're going to group by name, and then we're going to call our aggregate function. Now this aggregate function, what we're going to do is we're going to pass a dictionary denoted by these curly brackets right here. And in this dictionary, it's going to consist of two things, columns and the aggregate functions that we want to apply on top of them. So our dictionary keys is going to be our column that we want to do an aggregate function on. And the dictionary value is going to be that aggregate function. So in this case, customers will be our key, which is our first column that we want to do an aggregate on. And max will be our value, which is our aggregate function that we want to apply. I'll run this. And what we get here is we still get that same data frame, but I'm going to take the max number of columns that a restaurant saw per night. And I'm going to take the mean of the average bills that we saw our restaurants have per night denoted from our data frame up above. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is the last one, which is actually the most verbose way. So it's the longest way to do a group by. However, I love this method because it's super explicit and you can actually rename your columns because you see right here, the column names are just the previous column names, but I want to know that this was max customers and I want to know that this was the mean of the average bills. So the way we're going to do that is still with our aggregate function, but instead of passing a data frame this time, we're going to pass a few different parameters. And so these parameters are actually going to be new column names with the aggregate functions and the columns we want to do it on. So max customers, this is where you're going to put your new column name and you're going to set your new column name equal to PD dot named ag which stands for named aggregate. We're going to specify the column. So I want to do a, a function on top of my customers column and my aggregate function. I want to take the max. And so my new column would be called max customers and I'm going to take the max of the customers column. Okay. The second one that I'm going to do is I'm going to have a new column called mean average bill or mean av bill. And I'm going to set that again to a named aggregate. The column is going to be average bill and I'm going to do PD dot series dot mean. Now this may look a little bit funky, but what I'm saying here is pandas series and I'm taking a series function, which is the mean function. Okay. 
Now I will run this, and as you can see, I get my data frame returned, but my columns are now renamed to what I wanted them to be renamed to in the first place. I still have my max customers, and I still have my average bill. So that is three ways on how to do group buys in Pandas.